Good morning, class. We are JR Automotive, and today we'll be speaking with you about our supply chain and how the four main factors affect our supply chain. The four main factors are facilities, inventory, transportation, and information. The first factor I'll be speaking about will be facilities. And with our facilities, our manufacturing and assembly facilities, our warehouses will be very large to accommodate the large inventory that we'll bring into our manufacturing and assembly facilities. Uh, first, and the second point to that will be uh, location. Our facilities will be located close to our retailers, so we shorten span of distance to ship our assembled products to our retailers. Uh, next, I'll turn it over to Josh, and he'll be speaking about our second point, uh, inventories. Hi, my name is Josh Cooley. I'm going to introduce the next two driving factors behind our supply and chain supply chain success, uh, which is inventory and transportation. Uh, it's going to be real important to make sure that uh, we have a, a good amount of inventory on hand. We also want to make sure we don't have too much inventory that we're sitting on. Um, inventory is one of the one of the biggest factors when it comes to supply chain management. So we want to make sure that we're having good uh, amounts on hand. The, the second factor I'm going to talk about is new transportation. Transportation is also very important. Um, there's a lot of different uh, a lot of different ways you can go with transportation. Whether or not you want to go in housing uh, or you want to go ahead and outsource the transportation needs. Uh, for our needs, we're going to outsource all of our transportation, uh, both from the steps from our suppliers to the manufacturers and from the manufacturing to the retailing uh, process. Uh, the reason for this is because transportation can be very expensive, especially when you're shipping extremely expensive products like cars. And um, car manufacturing in and of itself is expensive, and outsourcing is just going to be uh, the best suited for, uh, for our needs. Um, obviously, when you are uh, transporting cars, it's inefficient to fly them or to do any other type of transportation. So we're going to be uh, shipping these via trucks, via the interstate, um, all ground is uh, the way we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to introduce Richie next, who's going to talk about our last supply chain uh, factor. <coughs> I'm Richie White. I'm here to talk about the last point of the, why information is important to our supply chain. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is the database. It is very important that everyone is on the same page. How uh, the retailers that are selling the cars need to be in contact with the assembly, we need to be in contact with the people who make the parts, we need to be in contact with the people who give us the materials to make the parts. That's one set off just a tiny bit, it messes up the whole organization and we get either behind or we get more than we want and it's just going to waste money somewhere along the lines. Uh, one of the major things the database will be including is returns. We are not expecting many returns on the retailer and the U part because people typically don't return cars. The assembly and the manufacturing for the parts we're kind of bit worried about because many are faulty parts. If they happen, hopefully not too often because that just wastes more money. And then returns from the manufacturing parts to the raw materials because they could be bad materials. We have to send it back, puts us behind, and just it messes everything up and waste more money. So essentially, the database is making sure that everything runs smoothly and we don't waste money. Uh, and that concludes our presentation. Are there any questions?